Hi everyone, it's Joy, and today we're going to be doing an Easter craft. And that Easter craft is called He is Risen. Now for this craft, you're going to need some materials. And the materials are a cup of flour, a cup of salt, half a cup of water, paint, Mod Podge, paper, string, scissors, and a metallic marker. Okay, let's start. So you mix your flour and your water and your salt together. And then you need to knead it with your knuckles to form a ball. And when your ball is formed, you need to split your ball into two balls. Now, we take one of our dough balls, put it on a cookie sheet, and make a mountain and poke a hole on the top. You use your little one's foot to make an imprint to symbolize the opening of the cave. Then, you take your other ball of dough and make the stone that's been rolled away. After that, you place it in the oven. And in terms of temperature, it should be 200 Fahrenheit for two hours. Now, when it's dry, you put a smock on your little one and the real fun and crafting begins. So you may opt to have your little one use a brush or their hands to paint the stone. Now our little guy decided to alternate between the brush and his hands. He really had a great time. It was a true sensory experience. So sit back and enjoy as they create. And after the painting was done, my little guy enjoyed painting the table. <laughs> I think that was his favorite part. So once the paint has dried, now we need to paint the opening to our cave. So I did that in black and then I let it dry. And as it was drying, I painted some brown marks on the other parts to make it look a little bit more realistic. And when it was all completely dried, I added some lovely Mod Podge to seal in the color. Now, for the label he has risen, I used a metallic marker and added it to the final product. It makes a wonderful centerpiece for your Easter table. So enjoy the process and happy crafting. 